heel goed voelt. Those big arches are massive tuna. And in this part of the world, 600 to 1,000 pounds. Let's go watch these rods. Oh, it's still beeping. The tuna see the leader, they don't hit the bait. So what they've done here is they've suspended a live, large, slimy mackerel from a leader under that kite up there. So the line comes out and runs down and we're just dangling that live flying mackerel just dipping it in the water so the leader is not visible it's totally brilliant and apparently when the tuna hit these it's such an, an awesome sight just a big boof it sits on the surface here twitching and carrying on the tuna pick up and that's why they're throwing burly towards it just whole herring and whole mackerel at it Throw some in front of the camera. What? Throw some in front of the camera. Turn them on off, save the battery. Can we move the leg off that chair? Yeah. Can you take yeah, take it off. Go Sammy! The beast from the east! Watch out the way, mate. 
It's on this side of it so far. It's on this side of it yeah, so far. I think you might be good if we run it down that way. A bit of chicken and popping technique. Take the pressure away from your legs a little bit. And that will work. You let your whole body work on this. Not only the leg. Put the arm, and you take a little bit of pressure from your right arm on the retrieve. That gives you a little bit of uh, more reserve power for later. This is only the beginning. It's going to be a long fight. What's your name? Steven. And you're the first mate? Yep. Yeah? Give to me. Give to me for a second. Go away! You're watching the Beast from the East, Sammy Gandu from New Jersey, formerly, formerly Lemonon, and he's hooked up to a giant. The problem we've got is the fish has stayed amongst about 50 nets. I don't know how we've even stayed connected this long. Look at him go. Yeah, it's not looking the best. I mean, look at the boys everywhere on the boat. There's, there's hundreds of nets here for herring. What makes Prince Edward Island so special is it's one of the most prolific herring, commercial herring fisheries in the world. And they're just off that beach and just in there where we launched, we're only about a mile offshore, two miles max. And the giants accumulate here to feed up big. When they first arrive, they're skinny. By the time they leave in two months time, they're immensely robustly round. And, uh, but the downside is where you hook them is near the nets and if they stay near the nets, you got problems. Because you can't really control or, or dictate terms to fish of this size. You can only hope for the best. Look at that boy, everyone. Well, we had, I had increased the pressure a little bit. I think right now I'm about 50 pounds of drag, 50-52. Just trying to turn that fish away from the net so we can at least save it and, you know, boat it. Uh, it's an amazing bite this morning. As soon as uh, the skipper Tony put up the, uh, the bait, boom, we were tied right away. A lot of pressure right now. A lot of pressure. 
I'm going to bully him up, eh? Yes, that's what we're trying to do. Watch him out. Tony, you got to move to the left a little bit for me. The problem here is that one, if he's got a 600 pound fish, he could probably dictate a little bit, but if he's got a 1,000 pounder, yeah, you can't really dictate nothing. Just their weight alone, even when they're barely alive, is enough to control you as an angler. Back up the drag a little bit. And the way the tuna behaves sometimes is like you wear yourself out, you get the fish to the boat, and as soon as the fish comes into the boat, you make another run. A lot of guys fight it so hard in the beginning, and then when this happens, they just give up. You always have to preserve your energy for the last 10, 15 minutes. And the only way that the fish is actually done when they start doing the clock, the, the clock circle. So it's a lot of mental things and uh, you gotta be patient with it. You're not targeting small fish, this is a big fish and you're gonna have a lot of respect for it. Right now, speeding line, I increase the drag a little bit just to make him tired and basically I'm sitting down and you know, I'm laying backward, he's gonna come up to the top. I feel the line is going to the top. We're using today the uh, Talika 50 uh, was the tallest uh, Shimano, it's a Shimano outfit, 130 pound hollow uh, ace line from Power Pro, and uh, I actually managed to get three fish on this outfit last year, uh, up to 906 pound. We killed the fish last year on 906 on the same outfit. Very happy with it, and uh, you know, so far didn't have any incident. So keep doing what I'm doing, and uh, wish for the best. He's heading straight there. He's a, he wants to stay around this net, doesn't he? Yes, he really, he's really after this net. You know what though? I, I rate the tuna, they're very smart, right? Yep. And he doesn't want to go into a net, he knows what a net is. Yes. He wants to stay near the net, but he won't swim into it. Yep. He's too smart. He wants us to make him there stay. There Color, color! Color already. Full drag, Winger. Full drive. Taking the pressure and the heat right now, and we we'll for the best. Watch out, Tony. Like the same scenario that always happened. You fight the fish, comes up to the top. We were just talking about it. You see the boat, you think it's done, and it's actually not done. You know, sometimes if you're going for the kill, you might get a shot with the harpoon doing that. But 90% uh, 90, 90 of the time, it's, uh, it's you know, right it actually goes away. It goes down. When you turn your head away, you can't hear voice. Yeah, oh. speak right at it. the microphone. So I give a lot of achievement for those guys that, uh, you know, do it stand up and land big fish in short time, you know. It's a lot of technique, experience, and uh, a bit of luck, of course. That's a good fish, too. Yeah. Anybody have an idea what time we hooked up? Yeah, I can tell you exactly, because that... Uh, 12 and 17, about 40 minutes ago. Okay, perfect. There's just a lot of eyes around here. Yeah. We don't want one of the three hour fights right now, Wink, with all the, the audience we've got. Come on, Sammy, take him down, buddy. Don't worry, it won't be. I'll have a talk to the camera. I don't think it would be nice fish. Out. Just come with me. And the color is awesome. Yeah. Okay. Last week on the show, we showed you commercial fishing. We had all the time in the world. We had some giant fish on that really we needed the time. Unfortunately, we are now on a recreational charter and the rules are completely different. The fish must be now either boated or brought boat side for photos or released, one or the other, at one hour. If the fish isn't at the boat in one hour, unfortunately we have to cut it off. That is the legislation, that is the rules. And it's those sort of strict rules is why the, the Tunis Tynus or the Atlantic Bluefin Tuna is on a comeback. 
the species is definitely on a comeback. It's, it's back in prolific numbers up here on the north of America. So Sammy's doing his best on big drags to try and end this as quick as possible. He has a lot of experience on big bluefin. He knows what he's doing. And in my opinion, this fish is a very docile fish for some reason. I can't, I can't explain why. It's just the way they are. Like the other day we watched poor Kim get run around the ocean for 10 miles. 10 miles. And Sammy's been in an area of 300 metres. We're sort of 35, 40 minutes into the fight. And uh, the fish, although not tired, looks doable in the air. Maybe Shane, um, come right up the front, buddy. Get a bit deeper if you can. Right, turn it out with the fish, slowly. Well done, Sammy. No problem, man. Nice fish. Well nice done, fish. Sammy. Yeah, man. Right, it's man. catch and release, so you know, if it was a shot uh, to kill, we yes. would have that fish. It would have been oh, done. Would have been dead 100 times. We just, you know, we, we, time-wise, we were framed with time. We did it in 45 minutes. It's awesome. This way, we give a chance for the, for the other guy as well to, you know, to catch another fish. We we're go. running today uh, on a charter, so it's all catch and release. We're happy with it. Great result. The reel performed flawlessly. I've got, got good news for you. Talika 50 is awesome, so all is good. Good news. Yes. I had another water camera watching it. <laughs> so we all saw it. That's good. And uh, yeah. you know, yeah, thank you for Tony. Time. You've always been great. Well done. Great for us and you know, accommodating us. That's a good Thank you. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for having me.